Hello, um, I'm going to show you some basic mono printing techniques. First of all, you need a block printing ink. I put some in there, um, and we could actually put some into this little uh, pot just to have as a source. Um, so here there's some rubber tools, but if you don't have such a thing, you can use a a glue spreader or even cut a piece of an eraser off um, which is quite a nice little tool to use there's an earbud we've got the rubber brayer roller some paint brushes a piece of kitchen paper or a rag you need a pen and a pencil I thought I would show you what you can do with bubble wrap and um, I've got some newsprint here, which is the stuff they print newspapers on um, and it's quite absorbent and very nice, but you can use computer paper as well. Um, otherwise, I thought you can actually take some pages out of the telephone directory and print on those and then you would just get the, the writing as a background, which could be quite interesting. So let me show you the first technique which is basically using um, your plate as a canvas so it's basically what i call an additive approach um, i'm going to look at myself in the mirror in this other mirror and um, yeah just consider that when you're doing a portrait you can always tilt your head or um, do a three-quarter view it doesn't have to be this frontal thing um, and then you're going to basically paint use the paint brushes to to paint um, and it's very nice because you can wipe off the bits you don't like um, so I would basically just start off with sort of finding the eyes which are roughly in the middle of this of this um, egg shape um, which you can plot out um, and then there's an ear here so so the eyes fall halfway down this egg shape right um, and you can be quite loose about it because as I say you can actually make corrections come in afterwards and um, find your way with it. Uh, at first your marks, marks might be a little bit imprecise, but um, you will find your, your way with it. I'm doing it quite quickly because I don't want to waste too much time. Um, of course you can be quite playful with the hair. Um, and the more marks you put on, the denser your print will be. Um, I could even put my glasses in. Um, maybe not. Anyway. Um, so the mouth is basically as wide as from one pupil to another pupil. It's quite a much wider than we think it is. Um, so let me just add some other marks in the background. Um, let me just do some random marks to create some interest, make some darkness here. Now, whatever I don't like, I can remove either with the rubber tool, which will leave a nice line. And you see like that. Or you can use the earbud, which is, you have to keep on turning it to find a clean side. Um, and then come in maybe, and the bits that are not very precise, you can find a little bit more detail in them. Um, we'll come in again, put a bit more, that iris is a little bit, 
Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to sp spend too long doing this. Um, so let me just pull this. Um, maybe pull it on onto this um, to see what it looks like. Maybe not a bit more. Anyway, it's, it's tight. I think one sheet is enough. So then you just drop and float and rub it. You can peep and see what's happening and maybe decide to rub a bit harder. And here we are, there's the print.